Welcome to MCSC TV. Now guys, I am so sorry that there was not a video on Saturday and Sunday because I am trying to cover every day of the World Cup. Now guys, it's been a busy weekend and because I didn't cover um, both of them days, I'm going to do a reflection video where I look with you guys on Saturday and Sunday's World Cup games. So guys, let's have a look at Saturday first. Now guys, there was four World Cup games on Saturday. And to kick start the day, France took on Australia at 11am. Now guys, obviously France won 2-1 against Australia. Now guys, if I was pre to predict that game before the game started, I would have honestly said France to win the game. I mean, they've got the likes of Griezmann, Pogba and... You know, them t two players even scored. So, there you go. Also, guys, for Australia, Jedinak scored. Um, so, obviously, the game ended 2-1 there. Um, so, really good result for France. Now, guys, Argentina took on Iceland. And that game finished 1-1. Now, I thought that was a really fair result. Um, I did say at the start of, like the World Cup when I was doing my predictions video. I mean, I do have high hopes for Iceland. Like, as I said, they're, they're a team that I kind of beat in the inevitable, I suppose. They're a really small country. and um, It's really cold out there. The players have done really well because, obviously, the conditions out there are, are really hard to play in. So, as I said, I feel that's a really fair result. For Argentina, Aguero scored. And for Iceland, Finn Goa scored and obviously that game took place at 2pm on Saturday so again a good result for Argentina and Iceland like it's a fair result then guys Peru took on Denmark at 5pm on Saturday and Denmark won 1-0 with Poo Pugen scoring, I think it's how you pronounce his name. I'm so sorry for pronouncing these names wrong, guys. Um, so yeah, again, a really good result for Denmark. And then to end the day, Croatia took on Nigeria. Now, guys, this game is at 8 pm. Now, I am going to say I was really upset about this game. Um, again. I'm a big lover of Nigeria. Obviously, Victor Moses and John Obi Mikel play for Nigeria. And in all honesty, in that game, I would have to say I was back in Nigeria um, because of like the Chelsea connection with that team. Um, it was really sad. I was gutted for Nigeria, to be honest, um, because obviously Croatia's players obviously nick the win because obviously Modric and Ogonis Sakharov scored for Croatia um, so a disappointing result result for Nigeria but hopefully Nigeria can storm on and win their next World Cup game. So guys that was Saturday's fixtures um, so yeah there was four games and a big pretty much um, a lot of varied results now, guys, let's talk about Sunday. Um, there was three games and all my days. There was definitely um, a shocking result. But let's talk about Costa Rica and Serbia first. Now, guys, obviously, that game was in Group E. It took place at 1pm yesterday. Um, and Colorado scored for Serbia, um, obviously giving Serbia the 1-0 win. Um, so that's really good for them. Good start for them in the World Cup. Um, a shame for, for Costa Rica of course but now guys let's talk about the Germany game oh my days I did not expect that I honestly said in my predictions video um before the World Cup started I said you know what I think Germany are just going to do really well because obviously the world champions we all expect a lot from them as a team they've got some talented players they're a really strong team they're really good and um, for them to lose is just absolutely gobsmacking i just can't believe it really um i'm sure germany will bounce back from this but i just didn't expect that result yesterday um whatsoever now guys that game took place in in group f at 4 p.m and lozano scored for mexico now guys can i just say his reaction goal celebration was so beautiful um like right i know i'm an england fan but honestly just seeing the reactions of 
all these plays from all these different teams um, when the score is just beautiful. Like, I'm not just talking about the Germany and Mexico, Mexico game now. I'm just talking about all World Cup games in general so far that have taken place. To see the passion on the players' faces when they've scored is just sensational. I mean, how does that feeling feel when your team scores? Like, and for them to score, like, how, how proud must they feel? Like... That, that is their country they are scoring for. Like, that is massive. They must feel so proud. And it's such a monumental moment in their career to score for their country. Like, it's sensational. And also, guys, I'm going to talk about um, the fans as well. Like, the World Cup games that I've watched so far, the noise from the fans has just been absolutely incredible. Like, this is what the World Cup's all about. The atmosphere is sensational, so it's beautiful. Um, but, yeah, Lozano's goal celebration was beautiful like his face it just honestly it just made me nearly cry I saw so many pictures all over social media it was wonderful and guys there was some Chelsea fans saying sign him up so yeah come on Chels splash the cash this summer and sign up Lozano you heard them um and then guys obviously to end again end the day with at 7 p.m yesterday in group E it was Brazil versus Switzerland now guys again it was a shocking result I felt um, I didn't expect a draw out of that game. In all honesty, I did expect Brazil to win, but it obviously ended 1-1. Um, and obviously, Coutinho and scored for Brazil and Zuba scored for Switzerland. Now, guys, um, we all know who Coutinho is, what a player he is. Um, so, yeah, not a bad result for either team. But as I said, I would have expected um, Brazil to have won that game. But, yeah, it was an interesting day yesterday. But can I just say that Germany game was was the biggest shocker for me for certain so yeah that was sunday guys so thank you so much for watching guys please like comment subscribe guys that was a reflection of both saturday's and sunday's world cup games and um, let me know down below all your thoughts and opinions on the games was there any shocking results in there for you guys what did you think of all the games um and yeah up the england thanks